Now I feel weird. <laughs> What's up everyone, my name is Adam. Today we're gonna be building a Bitcoin node in under three minutes. This video will walk you through the actual build and the installation of the operating system, but we'll go through the setup of the whole node at another video. If you don't know what a node is or don't know why you should run a node, make sure you check out the video that's just linked up here or up here, which side is it on? This side? <laughs> I'm not sure which side of the, make sure you click the link. Uh, we'll have that posted in the description as well. Okay, so to get into it, we've got two kits here. One of which is uh, a can of kit built off, bought off Amazon. And then this SD drive, this is definitely overkill for what you need, but that's okay for today. We're gonna open up this SSD drive and um, set it off to the side. This is a gorgeous little case that it comes in, so we're all good uh, there. And then the actual Raspberry Pi This SD card is going to be super important to make sure that you etch the operating system on, so we're going to leave that over here. All right. So, first things first, take the Raspberry Pi out of the case. So, this is essentially the brains of the operation. This is super important to keep nice and safe, put it right there. Now with the Raspberry Pi here, we are going to link in the hard drive. So on the Raspberry Pi, there are two USB ports, two USB 3 ports, and the ethernet cable. You wanna make sure that you're using the USB to USB-C cable to plug the drive into the USB 3 port. Next, we're gonna fire this thing up. And voila, we have the early stages of a Bitcoin node. Once your Pi is in this raw state, you're gonna to wanna to go to getumbral.com on the computer and then click get started. At the bottom, it will prompt you to uh, it'll prompt you which one you're doing. So we're using a Raspberry Pi 4. It asks you all the good stuff that you have. Click how to install and then download the OS. So while it's downloading, you're gonna grab your SD card. Grab that SD and plug it into your computer. And then open up a program called Etcher. Etcher should automatically pick up the fact that you have an SD card in there. You can see this generic SD media. You really want to make sure that this is the actual SD card and not your computer's hard drive. That would suck significantly. Click select image. Go to the Umbral image that you just downloaded and then click flash. All right, so while it's flashing, it's important to unplug the power from your Raspberry Pi. Last thing you want to do is corrupt the drive and then that will allow you to, to unplug the actual hard drive. This hard drive is not gonna be important for the actual build uh, and operating system install, but it will be important to get the blockchain on there. So we'll put that off to the side for now. All right, so once you see unmounting here, uh, you will be able, it should automatically eject, but always a good idea to just double check that you don't have any, um, double check that you don't have any disks in there. You remove the SD card and pop this baby into the Raspberry Pi, just like that. Then, fire it back up. And you are good to go. This is the early stages of a Bitcoin node. Of course, there are, there's no blockchain on here, and so if you wanna check that out, make sure you check out the next video. We will leave the kits in the description. Go have fun building your node, learning how to support the Bitcoin ecosystem, and check out the next video for how to set up your Bitcoin node. Thanks everyone, talk to you soon.